Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I just received a package from Uniwix. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. All right, what we got is the 12 volt, 100 amp Uniwix Defender, deep cycle battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. Model number is 12-100. Uh, uh, rated volts is 12.8. Rated capacity 100 amps. And uh, energy capacity is 1280 watt hours. This battery did not come with any kind of instructions or anything like that. It did come with terminal covers. And it also came with a, a, a set of two uh, M8 bolts and two covers. So really not much to see with this opening, huh? All right, well, let's see what the voltage is right out of the box. All right, voltage is 13.17, which is exactly where we want it. This thing weighs a little over 27 pounds. Um, it's pretty plain and basic. It's an all black. It's uh, non-serviceable, so you cannot open up the battery. Uh, the only way to open it up would be to either cut it or maybe try to pry it open, but I am not going to do that because I don't want to ruin the battery. Yeah, this is like the most basic design I've ever seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, charge it up all the way, and then I'm gonna do a discharge test uh, just to make sure that we get our 100 amp hours. And then I am going to compare it with another battery, and I want to really kind of look into why it costs as much as it does. So let's go ahead and charge it up and then do a discharge test. Okay, now that the battery is full, let's go ahead and do the discharge test. Let me show you what it's at right now and then we'll start the test. Right now the voltage is at 13.7, so it's at 100% resting. Let me go ahead and make sure all these are clear. I went ahead and gave it three more minutes of juice just to make sure it was completely full. And then what we're going to use is this uh, halogen lamp. And it usually gives us about, uh, oh, about 400 watts. So this is going to be over a 0.2C test. I feel like we should get the same results. If we don't, uh, we'll do a proper 0.2C test. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, well, I came back down here and uh, the test is done because the battery is completely shut off. Everything is shut off. So I'm going to go ahead and wake up the battery and we'll see what the test results are. Okay, so we need to wake up the battery. We're going to go ahead and just use this 20 amp charger. Turn off the inverter. All right, and our capacity shows 98.9 amp hours. And I'm guessing it's a little low just because of the rate of the test was about a 0.3 C test, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go with it. Uh, I think it'd be fine. We could probably even turn the battery back on, turn the light back on, squeeze some more juice out of it. Huh, so it looks like the battery actually shuts off. The BMS shuts off the battery when, when it gets to 11 volts. So, I mean, that's probably to protect the cells, which I'm totally fine with, but it just makes me feel like I, I'm not able to get my pure 100 amps, but I'm pretty happy with night. What was it? 99.3 when that, after that second shut off. Yeah. 99.3. And I could probably run it again because the, the voltage is back up to 11.4, but I'm going to go ahead and say that this is, this is a hundred amp battery. There's no question about it. It's just that the BMS is really protecting those cells. All right, now that this Uniwix battery has passed our capacity test, I'm gonna go ahead and test if it has cold temperature disconnect or if it will even charge uh, in zero degree weather. I didn't get a lick of information when it comes to what came in the packaging. It didn't come with any kind of documentation. So the only thing I can go on um, is basically what it says on their Amazon site. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. I'm gonna go throw this thing in a freezer 
and uh, I'm gonna leave it there until tomorrow and then we'll try to charge it, see what happens. See you in 18 hours, little buddy. All right, uh, while that uh, battery is upstairs in the freezer, chilling its life away, I want to discuss what the difference is between this Uniwix Defender battery and let's just say this other battery I have, which is a Red Odo. They're both 12 volt, they're both 100 amp hour. So why is the Red Odo $299? when this Uniwix uh, Defender is $499. Like, what are you getting for that extra $200? So let's just describe what the features are of this Uniwix battery and compare it to the Red Oda. First, I wanna talk about the things that both the batteries have. They're both, again, they're both 12 volt. They're both 100 amp hour. Uh, you get 1,280 watt hours out of each battery. They both have a BMS, which is a battery management system but the type of battery management system could be very different. They both have high and low voltage protection. They both can do 100 amps of continuous current and they both have short circuit protection. But what this Uniwix battery does have, which I believe the Red Odo does not, first it can do a 250 amp surge for 10 seconds. So if you needed to start up a big 200 amp load, this battery could do it, and I do not believe the Red Odo could. It has automatic cell balancing. So the cells inside the battery are continuously balancing when it's charging and discharging. So that way those cells stay in balance all the time. So you'll get more out of your battery. Uh, you'll always get that 100 amp hour, no matter what. And both batteries do have high temperature protection, but the Uniwix has low temperature protection. So that's what we're going to test right now, is to see if we freeze this battery for 19 hours, uh, if it will try to take a charge. So let's go on upstairs and try it out. Okay, I'm out in my garage. Um, it's actually a little bit cooler today. Uh, right now it's 43 degrees outside. Uh, so it's probably, I'm guessing probably 60 or 65 degrees in this garage. Uh, this battery has been in the freezer for over 19 hours now. So it should be frozen solid. I want to do all of this in one take. So you're going to see me kind of moving the camera down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the battery out and set it on the floor and then move the camera. And then I'm going to take uh, the vol a voltage reading of the battery because I, 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 uh, I charged it up all the way. So I want to see what the voltage is of the battery before we try to charge it. And then we'll put a charger on it and see if it starts to try to charge. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Oh, those rubber caps are frozen on there. Okay, lower the camera. Voltage is 13.02, so that's straight out of the freezer. And like I said, this battery was fully charged when I put it in. Okay, charger's on. And let's go ahead and try to charge this battery. All right, moment of truth. Look at that. The charger is not working. This has low temperature disconnect. So if your battery is frozen solid, it will not accept a charge. And now I'm going to leave this battery out because, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you want, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like frost, frost on the battery. Yeah, and this battery will not accept a charge, but it's at 13 volts. So 
it still works. Another thing I want to mention about the uh, Uniwix battery is uh, if you want to connect multiple batteries, you can connect it in a uh, 4S configuration so you can get up to 48 volts at 100 amps. Uh, and then also you can connect that in uh, parallel with another four string. So you can actually get up to a 48 volt 200 amp bank of Uniwix batteries. That is the same as a Red Odo. And since I got this battery, it came with absolutely no information. It was just the battery. Um, you know, you're able to go to uniwix.com and you can download a PDF that basically is all the technical information for this battery. The one thing that um, I can't find anywhere on the site or anything is uh, any kind of warranty information. Uh, it's typical to have a five-year warranty on these batteries. Sometimes they have 10. Uh, so I wish that was a little easier to, to find. So please leave it in the comments if you do know the uh, warranty information for this Uniwix 12 volt 100 amp battery. What do I think the pros and cons of this battery are? Well, the pros is uh, it, it, it packs a lot into one battery. Um, uh, you know, it, of course it's a 12 volt, 12 volt 100 amp hour, but it also has cold charging protection, which is great for those, uh, you know, those Canadian cabins up there that are freezing cold. You can be confident that uh, that the battery is not going to destroy itself from trying to get charged while in freezing weather. Uh, the active cell balance, well, actually I shouldn't say active cell balancing, but it does say it, it has automatic cell balancing and it says that it balances those cells while charging and discharging. So that's nice. That way that battery is always going to be in great condition. Each individual cell is not going to be out of balance. And also if you needed a battery that uh, needed to start up a very large load. Uh, this battery can do it. It claims that it can, it can start up to a 250 amp startup at, for 10 seconds. Um, I don't have anything that can test that. So uh, again, please leave in the comments if you were, were, if you were able to test that, uh, that'd be great. Uh, some of the cons about this battery, um, well, the price, you know, like I said, that Red Odo is only $299 and this Defender this Uniwix Defender is $499. That's $200. That's, I mean, if you're just wanting capacity, that's a, that's a big chunk of change. Uh, the things that you're getting for that $200, you know, is the cold temperature protection, is the, uh, you know, the initial startup of 250 amps, uh, and also that active, active cell balancing. Uh, do I think all of those are worth $200? Uh, to me, not really. I really think that the price should be a little bit lower, but again, it is a, it is a pretty nice battery and it does have a lot of features uh, that go along with the battery. So paying that premium definitely could be what you're needing to do for the situation that you're in. Uh, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And uh, if you have any questions about how I tested this battery or, um, or anything else for that matter, uh, just go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll, I'll be sure to answer. Uh, and if you like my content, please uh, consider subscribing. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.